Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Sam Martinez and welcome to the unboxing of uh, Doom on PS4. I got the collector's edition right here along with another goodie which I'll get to later. But for now, the collector's edition is what's most important. So let's see here. We have, of course, the box itself. And the back side, let's see if I can give you a good look there you have it and let's say what it says the collector's edition features a 12 inch revenant statue on a lead lit base with internal slow spinning turbine an exclusive steelbook metal game case a full doom game of course and a demon multiplayer pack and the description is as follows Fight like hell. The Union Aerospace Corporation's facility on Mars is overwhelmed by demons. Only one person stands between their world and ours. As the Doom Marine, you're here to do one thing. Kill them all. It's an intense single player, brutally fast, destructive guns and upgrades and relentless demons. Fast paced, multiplayer, arena combat, player customization, unique modes and playable demons, a near limitless gameplay. Download new game experience and create your own experience with snap map so there we have it now let's unbox this lovely thing let's see if it's taped somewhere I don't think so so we should be able to get it out and it's some sort of sleeve so we'll have to get the sleeve off first Come on. Why do I always have trouble with this? I can't find a good way to get these things out. Uh, let's, see. let's put it on the ground for a bit. There we have it. Let's see if the inside of the box is any different, but no. It only has the same image on the back and the front. Warning. Uh, it's just some warning about the uh, reference statue. And of course, you need a screwdriver for the reference statue. But we'll see if we can do it without one. Okay. Statue out. So it's protected by styrofoam, of course. So. Sorry for the noise. I hate the squeaking of styrofoam. Okay, as the statue was the first thing that came to mind. Put everything there so it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm gonna show you this one first. There's still a lot of styrofoam on there. And let's see. Oh, it's not actually stable. Here we have the Revenant statue. If you can see it correctly. It's amazingly detailed with the both guns on the back and the whole creature itself. It's just awesome and as you can see, let's see if I can tilt it a bit. There is the uh, lit up turbine and right now I'm looking for an on button but I guess it needs batteries. and. I don't know how to turn it on. There's no button or something. Let's see what the description says. Okay, some screw battery. Uh, yeah, I need two batteries, so that's really unfortunate. So 
So batteries are not included, so I can't show you uh, the lit up version of the Revenant statue, unfortunately. But maybe if I'll get it open, I'll make another video uh, and link it to this video about the Revenant statue lit up. Uh, for now, I'm going to continue on with the rest of the items that I got. Here's a flyer with the information about the Rev statue. Let's keep that separate. Then we have the steel case, steel book, metal case, whatever they call it these days. Come on. There's my knife. Knife, knife, knife. I don't know. See, there's this thin PlayStation line, but it doesn't have a place where it opens. Or does it? I got it. It was on a different side than normal. This is the Doom Steelbook. Let's see what is in here. We have, look here, an actual manual with multiple pages. So that's something. You can buy the Doom Season Pass or Dishonor 2. It's just a flyer. And here we have my Doom multiplayer pack, Demon Pack, which features the Demon, theme, demon themed armor set. Six metallic paints, uh, three ID logo patterns, and six hack modules. And of course, the most important part of it, the game itself. So that was uh, the unboxing of Doom itself um, and the collector's edition. But I also got one other thing from my game shop, which are a couple of little graphs, or one, I don't know actually. It's featured in this little box over here, and I'm gonna open it, show you to you guys. And apparently these things are uh, pretty rare. Uh, the game shop that I got them from only had about uh, four or five of them. And they rolled up still sealed but I wanna have a look at them oh man these things are awesome just look at this I hope I can show it to you in its entirety, but as it's rolled up, or has been rolled up, it's pretty hard to give you a good idea of the thing itself. But actually the golden, golden parts really work out really nice, and the ships on the background. Let's see if I can roll it counterclockwise to show it to you better. But I'm worried that I'll hold it somewhere. This is a bit better, as you can see. Here, I'll stand up for you. So I really, really like this. The first trusted supplier to the four planets. That's one of them, but I got two. And let's open this one. And this is a portrait poster. I think this is one of the uh, in game. Uh, Propaganda posters, if I remember correctly from uh, the Doom games. 
especially the BFG edition on PS3 and uh, PC, and Xbox, of course. But this one is also amazing. Here you go. With a uh, silver finish instead of gold. Phobos, in search of new horizons, continue the adventure. Currently accepting new applications. UAC Research and Development Phobos. I think these are awesome and a great addition to uh, a game. And nice to get them uh, separate of the uh, collector's edition just as an added bonus. Anyway, that was it for now. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me a like and a comment if you did. Uh, share the video with your friends and maybe check out the rest of my channel for other and more videos. For now I'm gonna quit this and gonna start playing Doom for a bit. I uh, think I'm gonna live stream. Uh, I'm gonna do the single player first and the multiplayer after that. Uh, so be sure to tune in if you like. For now I'm gonna say goodbye and hopefully I will see you guys in uh, another video.